Potential hope may be on the horizon as Dallas County officials say COVID-19 might be plateauing, meaning it is possible the county has reached its peak. Even with that news, though, Judge Clay Jenkins wants people to proceed with extreme caution. That is his message as the governor continues to push the state to reopen with eased restrictions for businesses. As we say good morning to Cleo Green, who is in our newsroom. Now, Cleo, this is not a debate we're having just here in North Texas. We're hearing that a stark warning could be coming today from national health advisors in Washington, D.C. Yeah, you got it. You know, today, Dr. Anthony Fauci, he told The New York Times that he plans to testify today before the Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee. He pretty much wants to tell them that reopening too soon can come with a lot of risk and that's really a debate that we're seeing here in Texas. The governor is pretty much opening just about everything and Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins thinks we need to stay home and stay safe. So yesterday during a press conference here he enacted if this thing will just move with me come on there we go he enacted a Dallas County color coded system so the red here he thinks we should avoid eating at restaurants stick with virtual church and maybe go to the grocery store about once a week. The second code here is code Code orange. This is extreme caution. He thinks it will be okay to go to restaurants and churches as long as we proper or practice proper social distancing. The next thing here is code yellow. This means we need to proceed carefully here. You can finally maybe start thinking about taking a vacation. The last one here, code green. This is the new normal. This is what life is going to be like, our regular life, until scientists start to develop a vaccine. So back to that hearing with Dr. Anthony Fauci here. We did have a tweet from Governor Greg Abbott and back to that Senate hearing today, Judge Clay Jenkins rather, he tweeted late last night weighing in saying he hopes the governor listens to Dr. Fauci's advice. Once again, Dr. Fauci speaking today in front of the Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee. There's no timetable, but he will be talking about reopening and the risk that comes with that. I'll send it to you, Kara. Trump has expressed over and over again that he supports the idea of reopening the country, but now everyone entering the White House will have to wear a mask. And here's why. This comes after two people close to the president have tested positive for the coronavirus, and senior staff at the White House are getting tested now every single day. And in the coming months, Texans will experience their first election during the pandemic. Instead of one week, though, you'll have two weeks of early voting before the July 14th primary runoff. So some good news there. Our economy keeps taking a hit. We've seen it over and over again. And experts say that when it comes to unemployment numbers, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And a lot of businesses are struggling right now just to hold on as we begin to reopen Texas. Their shops and restaurants, well, they're just not sure what's going to happen. And that doesn't just include some newer places. We're talking about staples in the community that are really being hit, who have been here in North Texas for decades. Uh, we got the Chris Adegui this morning in Arlington. And, you know, that's an area that's really usually very busy and it's just much quieter. It is, Kara. It's been that way for about two months. That's about how long we've been in this economic lockdown. And for some businesses, they are trying to find safe ways to reopen. Meanwhile, others are calling it permanently quits. And that does not include Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. They are one of those businesses trying to reopen and will do so today for in-store customers, but only in cities and states where it is allowed. Several locations in North Texas included in those that will be back open. Nordstrom says they will give health screenings to all their employees and provide face coverings for them and customers. Policy changes to fitting rooms and returned items have also been written with safety in mind. Other places, though, are not as fortunate, including a deep Ellum staple. These Lizard Lounge announced on Facebook that the bar and live music venue is shutting down after 28 years, but they added they do have future plans that they will have more information about soon. And after 95 years, the Highland Park Cafeteria off Garland Road in East Dallas is not going to reopen. On their website, they said they will be auctioning off some of the memorabilia and furniture inside for any longtime patrons who want to keep a piece of the restaurant that started in Highland Park, hence the name, 95 years ago. They said they'll be keeping all of their 932 secret recipes they've had on their menu through nearly that century in case they get a chance to make them again. One certainly hopes so. Finally, for those who are waiting on benefits from the Texas Workforce Commission, 
be on the lookout on the website. They say there's going to be a new feature that will allow you to go back and request those benefits for back payment going back retroactive to the day that your unemployment began. Tashara, back to you. Okay, Chris, thank you. And it's first come first serve at today's drive through food pantry at the South Cliff Church in Tarrant County. The free food pantry is going down from five to seven tonight or while supplies last. Volunteers are asking you to please just stay in your car. They will come to you. South Cliff Church is located at 4100 Southwest Loop A20 in Fort Worth. You can find updates about this and other opportunities on South Cliff's Facebook page. And as always, if you can help families in need, we've made it easy for you to to donate to the North Texas Food Bank. Just point your camera at this QR code and it'll take you to the NTFB Amazon wish list. Any little thing, of course, can help our neighbors in need, Mark, because there are a lot of folks in need right now. Back over to you.